Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Oscar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. And we're here at Scar's Frontier Outpost, getting ready for a super awesome day of building and seeing if we got any payments at Scar's Tool Forge, which I'm super excited about. And good morning, Giant Jelly. How are you today? Doing good? Great. We always got to make sure we're nice to Jelly because, well, she is a giant jelly. She's got those gigantic paws that could just stomp our entire base. So we got to make sure we're really nice. And of course, in our last two episodes, we've got our mining tower assembled and ready to roll. As you can see, the minecart is all positioned up there looking really cool. Now, I did have to record this video before the Twitch streams over the weekend. So hopefully um, I did get some of this. So future Scar, hopefully you did a good job by adding, you know, some more theme plants and all sorts of cool little details to that section. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be really cool. We'll add some ore to the car over Twitch. Um, but as you can see, I've been getting the details all established in our bridge, which will take us into the actual mine shaft. So we're finally getting into the functional stage of the build instead of the decorational phase. So usually you'd like to do the functional first, then the decorational, but we're kind of doing it opposite. But my friends, I've got to be honest here. Today was the day that we were supposed to name the tool, the expo, and well, I, I lost it. That's right. Um, yes, it's lost, but my friends, I know it's in here. It's in one of these chests of horror. As you can see, look at how disorganized I am. There's a random diamond in this box, but yeah, I am so disorganized and I know I just set it off real quickly in one of these boxes and I can't quite find it, but believe me, we will find it at the end of this video and I think I'm going to name it something like the Colton Ska Six Shooter or something along those lines. It's kind of a combination of a couple different comments I saw um, in the Wild West theme, which I am uh, super excited about. I think it'll be a really cool name for the bow. And before we head off and see if we've made any payments at Ska's Enchanted Tool Forge, I have to ask you guys, I'm going to put up a poll in the annotation so it should pop up there and you can go to the card, click on it and Give me your opinion. Should we keep the cats or get rid of the cats? Um, I would love to finish the arch. They're kind of preventing me from finishing it. If the arch was finished, I'd probably keep them, but let me know if we should keep the cats or get rid of the cats. There's gonna be a poll up in the corner if you guys uh, wanna vote and let me know what you think. And let's go see if we made any money. Before we check if we sold any tools, we gotta sell our souls to the log fellas, my friends. They still have their week long sale, which is turning into like two weeks now. Um, but let's head over here and let's just get a little bit of oak wood before we get start our project today. So we just need a little bit of oak wood. And now let's see if we sold some tools. All right, and let's see if we sold any. Did we sell any jelly? Let's see. All right, let's check it. Oh my gosh, we did. Oh, we sold a tool. We sold a fortune three. 20 diamonds, oh, that's excellent. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Now we didn't sell any silk touch. Uh, let's see, we didn't sell any of these guys. Let's see over here. Oh my gosh, we sold another one. Oh, this is excellent. We're gonna be able to make so many. Oh my gosh, we sold it. Oh, that's three tools. That's excellent. Oh, I love it. Absolutely amazing. We sold some things. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I don't think I ever stocked this one, so I need to make sure I actually put something in there. Um, it doesn't look like we sold any of these guys. Um, did we sell Troll Ho? No, Troll Ho is still here for 64 diamonds. Ah, I love that. Anyway, my friends, I'm super ex Wait, wait, I should check the boxes over here. Um, let's see, special order tools and nothing in there. And oh, oh, hello, Python. Looks like you have me something here. All right, we have an order. Python's order, all diamond armor, one of each enchantment. So we got the projectile, we had the fire, we had the blast and the protection. I'm breaking on all helmet, the respiration and all those good things. So just a standard super suit of armor. All right, Python, we're gonna work on that by getting that set up. And thank you so much for the order and let's head back to the fort. And let's get started with today's project. And as you can see, I've been laying this all out with dirt running down here and that's eventually where the mine shaft will go underground. So I think this will be really cool. It's kind of a little suspension bridge built up here and let's just dive right into it. So I've kind of gone back and forth on a couple different material choices and I think we'll continue with the oak wood. Um, so I think that'll look really cool. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna cut this guy out like that and we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. So we're gonna connect these pieces together and this will be what you know kind of connects everything together. We'll have that all set up and ready to go. Now we're gonna drop down here, and then this one will be one more set of four. So that'd be one more set of four. Um, and kind of think of this as the roller coaster project. Remember how we kind of dropped down our our track, and it would be like we would set up um, a series of two sets of four, then then it would be a series of three sets of three, um, and that's kind of the basic design. And I think this will be really cool and just make this just a little bit nicer 
um, and I think it'll really fit our frontier feel that we're trying to achieve. And in today's video, I want to talk about future projects, um, or at least our future major project here on the <laughs> Minecraft server. So as you guys know, I've been really wanting to build um, a Wild West town for a very, very long time. And the time has come, the time has come to finally build that town that we've been talking about. Um, this would have been really fun to build in a modded space like in stud tech, but we never got a, ch hello. Um, we never got a chance to build it, but I've kind of come up with some ideas. So what we're going to try to find is kind of a canyon-ish area. Um, that's kind of where I want to build the town. The town is kind of a dusty old west town, um, but the main kind of attraction to the actual town will be a railroad. That's right, a gigantic railroad. Now the railroad will be not, it won't be, you know, functional. It will be, you know, showpiece type thing. So there'll be a big steam train um, and then big, you know, faux kind of minecart track. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then we'll, of course, we'll have a saloon and sheriff stations and all sorts of really cool things within the, the place. And of course, if we uh, think about, let's see, how's that looking? I like that. I like that quite a bit. So if you guys remember Stud Tech, when we kind of came up with some basic ideas, there was going to be a sheriff station. Um, the saloon was going to be the Whiskey Night Saloon um, in honor of my buddy Wells. And yeah, I think it'll be really fun and we'll finally get it done. Uh, we'll probably build like a little forestry area and maybe a little mine area, just different things like that, just for theme. Um, like this is kind of a, a makeshift mine that, you know, is both theme and actual functional space. So I think that'll be really cool. And ideas that you guys, guys have for that particular build, definitely let me know um, if you have any special cool little ideas you want me to do for it. Um, I think the uh, the jail will be really fun. Um, I'm going to consider figuring out something. I know there's been some talk of doing some type of command that will give us viewers heads or like if, if you know some of the viewers or uh, the other hermits have patrons and using their patron heads in the server. Now I might do that for maybe Twitch subscribers or just you know pick some random people out of the the chat um on youtube you know leave a comment and i'll just pick a couple of random like usernames and put them in the jail wouldn't that be amazing to have a bunch of uh a bunch of you guys in my jail oh, i think that would be really fun we kind of thought of that a little bit for um for stud tech um ivan the minecrafter actually gave me that idea and look at that my friends we got the basic setup ready to roll so give me one second i'm gonna kind of lay out this track here and i'll be right back and welcome back and i'm just having some lunch here at the chuck wagon of course we got cookie and uncle stan uncle stan eats nothing but cake apparently so he's enjoying some of that cake but let's get back to work on our bridge and where we're going to be working now is the suspension cable so we're going to get that all set up and ready to go so as you can see, I've done a little bit of work here. Um, I've got this section all complete going downwards like that. And like we did here, this was four, four, and then three, three, two, two, two. And then eventually it'll go into one once we get into the cave. Uh, but it just mirrors this up here. So this pattern of our logs going across here matches the stone, which the track will actually be on top of. So on every little drop block. So if this is the last block before you drop, we're going to place down two of these guys on either side like that. And I think that'll be pretty cool. And then suspension cables will come out of the hole going upwards. And I think that'll be super awesome. So we'll put these guys all along here. And I got to ask you guys, with 1.9 now out, has 1.9 kind of revitalized your love for Minecraft? It definitely did for me. And I want to get your guys' thoughts in the comments also. So definitely let me know. Um, for me, there wasn't anything game changing within 1.9 that made me, you know, really excited about any real one feature. Um, there's a lot of game changing things, especially with combat and stuff along those lines. Um, but I don't know. I think it's just the fact that there's a whole new kind of, you know, life brought back into Minecraft a little bit, you know, with updates and things of this nature, um, I think really kind of helped um, get me excited with Minecraft again. Also, the fact of Hermitcraft, that's a big deal, too. But um, I think it was really cool. And I just wanted to get your guys' thoughts on it. And with 1.10 now coming out, 1.10. Mojang seems to be moving a little faster than normal, which is awesome to see. Um, some of this stuff back here, once we start going underground, uh, we'll get that all kind of arranged and looking good. Uh, but for now, I'm going to kind of hold it at that point. But it's nice to see that they're kind of progressing a little faster than normal um, to the next update. So I think that'll be really, really cool. Um, who knows what this update is really going to bring. We do know that there's going to be some bears. I do hope there's actually going to be some like, um, so there's polar bears. Hope there's going to be maybe some brown and black bears, depending on which biome. Um, I think that would be really cool. Um, so if you know, like a, like a brown bear or something along those lines, maybe there might be even like a mystery grizzly or something. Wouldn't that be cool? Like, uh, an actually a hostile. So if the bears aren't hostile or they're passive, unless they're provoked, 
um what if there was a like a grizzly in the like a taiga or a mega taiga stuff like that um that was a little rarer like he doesn't really show up very often but oh you know when that grizzly shows up he's after you i think that might be kind of cool um it'd also be nice to have like some berry bushes because you know bears like berries right um i think that would be pretty cool so berries might be kind of fun um so along those lines of berries my friends hold on i'm trying to think of what i want to do it oh okay i know what i want to do I almost forgot, but don't fear, my friends, don't fear. We're going to do something like this. So we're going to bring these blocks along here. Um, now, that does look a little bit funny. See how that connects a little odd there? Why don't we just try a couple little things? Why don't we just try to mix it up a little bit and see where it kind of takes us? Oh, I like that. See how that looks much better? Um, but like I was saying, berries might be really cool because it fits within the bears. Um, so, yeah, we have the kind of the polar bears or something along those lines I think would be really kind of awesome, actually, in, you know, let's see, where do we want to drop this guy? So something like this <laughs> you know i just did it and now i completely forgot but yeah polar bears out in kind of the uh, the snowy climates brown and black bears in the forest and the mega taigas oh i just absolutely love that i think that actually would be cool i've been sarcastic about the bears but but lily i'm actually kind of excited about them um so berries i think would be cool um another thing uh with bears is you know bears like uh, salmon what if we actually finally had some trout or some salmon actually swimming in some of the rivers? Wouldn't that be cool? Um, I think that would be really, really fun to kind of actually see there being some life um, in some of our waterways in Minecraft. Wouldn't that be really cool? Um, as you can see, I've done so many scar fills in the last like 10 seconds that it's kind of unbelievable. Um, <laughs> It's kind of unbelievable, but I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm not stopping. No, I'm not stopping. Can't stop Scar. Can't stop Scar when he's failing. <laughs> you can't you can't stop that. You can't stop this train. All right, there we go. So we're going to put that along there like that. Um, there's some little goof ups here and there, but we can definitely fix that up pretty quickly. OK, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to grab out our dark oak slab. And then what I want to do with this is I just want to kind of run it off the top like that and see how it just acts as a little bit of an accent color. And I think that'll look really cool. We're going to have to do something on the bottom. I haven't decided what yet, but it is kind of a, kind of a requirement almost because we're going to need to find something that will power the track. Um, so this section is not done yet, but I'm just going to run these guys along here also. Um, along with 1.10, it would be really awesome that if you named a tool, say you named your, your tool, you know, Scar, Scar and West or something like that, Six Shooter or something like that. Um, it would be really cool if that tool ever became, you know, lost out of your inventory like that, that if you named it, it would never despawn. Now, if it was a non-named tool, it would despawn. Wouldn't that be kind of a fun mechanic? I, I think that would be pretty cool. And it would save our butts. It would literally save our butts, you know, if we lost our tools or something like that. So if you name a tool, it saves it in the Minecraft. I think that would be a really cool feature. Like, I, I think that would be something that I could get behind and pretty excited about game mechanic wise because, well, we we lose our tools like that's just a thing in Minecraft. And I think it would be really kind of awesome if that was in the game. Look at how much better that is. Look, we're, we're learning. See how we're learning like that? <laughs> we're learning. Well, not on that particular one, but we are learning. We're learning, my friends. We're, we're, we're trying to get better. See how we failed on the other side. But on this side, we're learning. We're making magic happen here. So I'm trying to find the right block to place this down. Uh, next thing I would like to see added to Minecraft would be um, item frames to be able to place right down on the block, on top of the block, not just on the side. Like, I think that would be really cool. The reason being, um, I'm trying to make a dining room in a particular house build, and I'm trying to do something different. I'm like, what could I do different in this place? Um, and I was thinking, it'd be cool to make plates, but how do I make plates? Is there anything new in Minecraft that I can manipulate or anything along those lines to make this look cool um but no i couldn't really think of anything but i did think it would be cool if you could put those down because then you could put your steak or your your different you know things along those lines like that and it would be really cool i think that would make kind of a fun addition along with a proper weapon holder like wouldn't that be awesome to have a proper weapon holder so if you had your tools you had oh my gosh i you know i think this could be the largest scar fails of all time trying to get these blocks and trying to carry out a conversation you guys would be really surprised how hard it is to carry out a commentary conversation and also do minecraft <laughs> it could be a little difficult it could be a little difficult your brain kind of goes in some weird ways um there we go we got it complete you know fails and all we were oh no oh gosh so many bombs <laughs> okay it doesn't look like we lost anything oh no no you don't 
Oh, no, you don't, Mr. Creeper Inspector. Get out of here. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that was intense. All right, um, let's go look at this from afar and just kind of see how we did. Okay, I'm liking that, my friends. I am liking that. Let's sleep this night away, get rid of all of this rain, and uh, we'll start adding the track down below, and then this bridge will be all set. All right, and welcome back, and we're adding our rails to the top here. Now, with the design, I didn't want to do like a redstone block right here. I just thought it would look weird color-wise. So then I started going back and forth, back and forth, trying to figure out a cool design solution to cover up a lever or a redstone torch, whatever one you prefer. Um, so I think I may have found a compromise. Hold on, let me jump up here real quick. So what I'm gonna do, and I just felt it also looked a little bit sloppy to have this stone here, and of course having these levers exposed. So I don't want these exposed, because I just feel like, like I said, I just feel like it looked a little messy. Concern with it is it will make this little spot right here. So remember how much hard work we put making sure those were all oriented in the right orientation? Well, my friends, we just reversed our, our entire work where we spent all that time trying to make sure those were in the right spot. Um, but in the end, this is what we like to do is we don't want to compromise. No, we don't, my friends. We don't compromise on design at all. So um, yeah, took a little extra work, but I feel like this is a better design. Um, it's a little thicker, like I said, than I wanted. We can also do it like that, depending. We can always change it. Um, we can do that in a live stream. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish up putting these guys across here like that, and then of course on all these angles, put that one right there, and then we jump up here, and then we can, oh! Well, like I said, we'll just do that, and let me finish up the rest, and we'll do a little tour. All right, and welcome back. And as you can see, we have our faux minecart track on here with our little minecart. And then that goes into our mineshaft building. And then it goes down through there and into the real minecart track. As you can see over there, we built our beautiful bridge leading into the mesa down there. And I wanna show you guys kind of how this will work. Um, so this will kind of disappear. So we'll disappear into real track. It'll start right there. And I think what we'll do is we're going to build within this little area. We're going to build an entrance into here. And then you'll be able to get on a minecart right here. And then it will zip you up into this section right here. If I can jump up there, apparently, apparently it doesn't want me to jump up. There we go. And then you'll be able to go down like this and into the actual mine, which I think will be so cool. Um, yeah, so I got to figure this all out, kind of figure out how this will all flow and look natural together but thank you so much for watching today hopefully you have enjoyed the build and until next time this has been good times with scar and i always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and if you believe the videos are a rating that would be much appreciated and until next time we'll see you later and we just went into jelly's rump